What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. Let's do another happy video. After I put up the happiest cities in the United States video a couple weeks back, I started getting requests for a happiest states video. After about the 20th Twitter DM, we went to work. Like the first video, we had to determine what factors make up a happy resident of a state. A few different research companies all agreed that a survey asking people on a scale of 1 to 10 how they feel about their careers, their social life, finances, community, and physical health determined their well-being. Well-being equals happiness to most of the population. We took the states that seemed to always be in the top 10 of all the other lists, did a little research, and made our own. The only state they all agreed on in all of the lists was actually the number one. This state was the number one on all of these lists, including this one. Everyone wants to be happy. As human beings, we strive for happiness. We even added it to our constitution, the pursuit of happiness. So let's see what state makes that pursuit the easiest. Number 10, Connecticut. Connecticut has been around a while. In 1636, Thomas Hooker, a minister who fled England to freely practice his beliefs, left Boston with about 100 members of his congregation and landed where Hartford, Connecticut is today. I've always wondered about that last name. Back in the day, people were named Smith because they were a Smith by trade or a brewer. How does a family pick up Hooker as a last name? I'm not even gonna get into Anthony Weiner. Moving on, the Constitution State has over 3.5 million residents, and a majority appear to be happy. They are ranked high when it comes to health, natural environment, and education. The safety score is also really good. Other than Hartford and a few other cities, they have really low crime throughout the state. It's a nice place to live. In your life, visit this state once during the fall. Each autumn, the Constitution State outshines almost any state with fall foliage. It's yellow, gold, red, it's amazing. Number nine, Colorado. Colorado is home to some of the country's tallest mountains and has the highest average elevation of any U.S. state. If you like the great outdoors, this is your paradise. Hiking, mountain biking, fishing, rock climbing, or just staring at nature because you hate your job, Colorado is one of the best states to do all of those. Colorado has one of the best economies and the residents are happy with their careers. Obviously, the natural environment in this state helps with the overall happiness and they have a really low divorce rate. When it comes to the social life in Colorado, people seem to be very happy with their friends and family. All the people I know from Colorado are really nice and seem to be very close to their families. Oddly enough, most people I know from Florida avoid their family members at all costs. I don't know if that's a theme there in Florida or what's going on with it, but the handful of people I know that were born and raised in Florida, they just, they're not into their family. It's weird. Number eight, Alaska. The Secretary of State in 1867, William Seward, purchased Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million, roughly two cents an acre. A lot of people thought that this was a stupid move and started calling it Seward's Folly. They changed their tune when gold was discovered in the Yukon and, and people started pouring into the place in the 1890s like it was a giant Apple store on launch day. It became a state 70 years later in 1959. 61 years later, hardly anyone lives there, still. Not a lot of people live in Alaska, it's weird. Beautiful place. Anyway, they have more wilderness than they know what to do with. Alaskans are more satisfied with their quality of life and the outdoors and personal financial securities are two of the main things people list as to why they're so happy in this state. The financial one kind of blows me away. It's kind of weird because Alaska isn't the greatest economy in the United States, you know? They do all right, but it's not like they're blazing ahead of everyone else. Now, the downside is they have some weather that can be really, really harsh, but then again, some people enjoy it. I'm kind of one of those people. Number seven, Massachusetts. A 2019 study of the most educated U.S. states ranked Massachusetts as number one. Congratulations, you got big brains. They analyzed the school qualities and educational attainment along with a whole bunch of other things. And people felt very strongly about them and they ranked very high in almost any educational poll you see or study. So as you can imagine, career opportunities, educational and financial stability are big in Massachusetts. And the people graded those high on most of the surveys. The Bay State is home to some of the most elite universities in the country like Harvard and MIT, but even the smaller colleges and high schools get very high marks when it comes to how residents feel about the schools and stop typing. Of course, you're going to have some bad schools. That's just how it goes. A majority of the schools in this state are outstanding. So we don't want to hear how bad your school was. It is almost hard to be dumb and uneducated in this state. All that breaks down to is Massachusetts residents are very happy with how their lives are going in their state. Number six, Idaho. 
If the gem state wasn't as great and the people weren't as happy, Idaho wouldn't have as many Californians relocating there. It did slow down a bit in 2019, but it's still one of the most moved to places for California refugees. And I guess that's the only thing that makes the average spud boy unhappy. They hate it when they see a California license plate. And don't tell them you're from California. Get a whole dose of attitude. Here's a piece of advice for Idaho. Don't have such a nice state and people won't move there. It's that simple. Look at Mississippi, that's a prime example. According to a 2018 report published by the Outdoor Industry Association, Idaho has one of the highest percentages of residents, 79%, who participate in outdoor recreation annually. Only Colorado and California have a higher percentage. With activities ranging from whitewater rafting to trout fishing, there's no shortage of crap to do in this state. They are kind of high in the divorce category, but everything else is great and the residents love this state and seem to be very happy. Number five, Texas. The Lone Star State comes in at number five. I found one survey where they asked people a bunch of questions, and at the end they asked everyone to write down one thing that makes Texas great. The most common answer was, because it's Texas. That right there is some serious pride in your state. Other popular answers were sports, barbecue, people, and tacos. Living in Texas means unlimited access to amazing Texas barbecue. I've talked about that one before. I love barbecue, and Texas is one of the best places to get it. Texans will wait in line for over an hour for their favorite barbecue place. Most of the ones I've been to, I'd probably wait longer. People have jobs in Texas, and on average, they get paid better than most of the states in this part of the country. What makes Texans happy are career, social, and community. All three of those things were above average, and that's what a lot of people marked down. The last one was surprising, especially if you watch cable news, safety. Texas has some bad cities, like all states, but if you buy into what the news outlets are telling you, you would think it's a war zone being on the Mexico border. It's just not. The people know this. They're happy and safe in their communities. Number four, California. So just now, people that spend too much time listening to political podcasts and radio shows groaned. They're also pounding out a really thought-provoking comment as I speak. Here's the thing. California has a buttload of problems, like all states. All states have homeless people. California has more. All states have taxes. California also seems to have more. But people still love this state. It has been reported that more people are moving out than ever before. That's true. They are. But they're still getting more people moving in, and the population is still growing. The Golden State has many things that make people happy. The weather starts things off. The online real estate database company, Zillow, used the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration weather data to determine which cities in the U.S. are the most pleasant year-round. With 261 pleasant days, San Diego topped that list. That's in California, in case you don't know. The next ones in line were Los Angeles, San Jose, and San Francisco. All of them are in California. The top four. After the weather, you have opportunity. More people feel that California offers more opportunity than any other state. Career statistics also rank high with the natural environment. People are happy with the beauty that is California, the oceans to Yosemite to every place else. And people that have good careers really enjoy the state. You feel how you want about this state, but the people that live there are very happy. Number three, Maine. Maine was in the top five in different places on every single survey we looked at. People in Maine love this state. From the farm fresh produce, to the craft breweries, to the trees that go on forever. It is hard not to be happy in this state. About 90% of the pine tree state is forested. And imagine that. Their nickname is the pine tree state and they got a lot of forests. Never saw that one coming. If looking at trees makes you happy, you'll wake up with a smile on your face every single morning while living in Maine. Community is a big thing for the people of this state. They like where they live, they feel safe, and they have pride in their community. That's like a big thing for them. Their physical health had one of the highest scores in all the surveys. These people have a nice laid back lifestyle in most cases, and that makes them very happy. I saw an old actor many years ago on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. I forget who it was, but he said he just bought land in Maine or he was moving to Maine or something like that, and he was from New Jersey. He described Maine as like living on the set of Leave it to Beaver, and being from New Jersey, that's like living on the set of The Exorcist. I thought that was great. Number two, Utah. When most people think of Utah, they think of the Mormon Church and the Great Salt Lake. Forget about the Salt Lake. 
The church is fine. The Great Salt Lake sucks. And that's okay. Utah has so many other natural things to see. You'll be busy. Zion, Coral Reef, Arches are three of the best national parks for people that want to be amazed. Nature is one of the most important things that plays into the happiness of the average Utah resident. There's never a shortage of new paths to hike and nature to see. You just have to pick one and bring some sunscreen. Besides the nature and the surroundings, the two other things that were important to the happiness of the average Utah resident was safety and community. Those were ranked very high for them. And number one, Hawaii. We finally get to our last stop on this U.S. map of happiness, the Aloha State. Did you know Aloha means hello and goodbye? This one is a little strange to me. All the Hawaiians I know aren't very happy with the state. They've all moved to the mainland. Maybe it's just the ones I know. I'm not sure. But I am sure all the surveys we looked at had them at the number one spot. Hawaii is an amazing state for people that have money. That would be the main caveat, money. It costs a good amount of money to live in paradise. The surveys all said community, physical health, and natural beauty are key to their happiness here. I hit up a Hawaiian I used to work with at Nike and told him that it was considered the happiest state according to all these surveys. He said, did they do the surveys at the Sandals Resort in Hawaii or something? Because all the people there were probably drunk and happy as can be. I said, no, they did it all over the thing. And he said, oh, okay, probably the natural beauty and the family. And he said families are really tight all over the islands and even in Honolulu. When you take those into consideration, it sort of makes sense. So I guess that gives Hawaii the win for the happiest state. Family, natural beauty, and everyone's healthy. Could be worse. All right, so that is our list today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it made you happy. Don't forget all the links below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.